This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Cruz, Jim Ibao. I'm in the Liverpool Echo Arena today. With me, I've got Liam Beefy Smith. On it. Congratulations on your 20th professional win, Liam. Thanks, mate. Thanks, How do you feel? I feel good, yeah. I say I always feel good when I fight. That's all that's I want to do. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, all, it's all I ask to do. It's all I'm meant to do. It's all I'm meant to do. Do you know what I mean? I just want to fight. And, uh, um, but that's where... Where I feel comfortable. You look, you look going through the gears here, Robert Tavrick. Very tough man. In honesty, probably could have come out there in the fourth with that body shot. You see him wincing in pain. Did, did you think he was going to come out there? You know what? I laughed at the end of that. I thought you're tough, tough man. You know, I can see why you haven't been stopped. But I honestly do feel I was, I, I was going to go through the gears around eight. You know, you see the finish. And if you watch the start around eight, I go, I, 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 I shook myself off. So let's go through the gears now. And, I think I was about to, and you know I was just about to start again. I do. I'm interested to see how it would have went because I would have liked to have stopped him properly. You know, I, I do think I could have stopped him properly. And well, the referee ruled in the eighth round. Got the doctor to have a look at his eye. The doctor said he's no fit stake to continue. So yeah. eighth round. Do, do you feel if it would have gone on a round or two, you could have you could have probably took him out? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, round eight, eight, nine, ten, or three rounds. Yeah, and I do think I was ready to to tear it up. You know, say I, I said to. A lot of people are probably in the best shape I've been in for a while and you know, I've been itching to get back in the ring and, and that doesn't mean to say I was, I was at my best, I was, I was just going through the gears, just happy to be back in there, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And I say that's not, that's not an... You look like you enjoyed yourself in there. Yeah, I just enjoyed being back in there, you know, I, when I say enjoyed it, I didn't enjoy it because it was the best I've been or nothing like that, I just yeah. Yeah. Enjoyed, I enjoyed to be back, being out in with a cut and... And stuff like that, so now I'm made up, no hands injuries, no yeah. cuts, nothing, I'm just, I'm happy to be back. Mm. I mean, we heard Frank Warren speaking in the press conference, uh, Francis Warren, excuse me, speaking in the press conference, he thinks you're, you're going to be able to get that world title shot this year. Everybody's making the right noises, is this, is this positive for you? Yeah, it is, massively, you know, as long as we're all on the same page, it's great. Mm. I say, I, I, it's not me shouting that I want a world title. You know, if they can get the bundles, five brilliant. I be well. I think I no, I'd be bundled, but I just want you know better fights like people who've just lost world titles and stuff like that. Yeah. You know I could keep robbing, robbing the kicks off Frank and you know asking for easy fights and knocking people over and getting getting good money for it. But that's just not not in me as a person. You know I want to test myself. I think I've, I've done as they call it your apprentice. You know, I've been for a long time. Now. I've had a couple of bad injuries, but you know I think I'm injury free at, at the moment and. Let's see where I can go when, when, while I'm injury free. Mm. We saw Brian Rose come up short against Andrade. Would Andrade be a name that interests you? Yeah, definitely. You know, and I say, but he's just proved himself a good world champion. You know, I have to say, um, if I got a decent fight with what, what I've been asking for, then Andrade, then then by all means, yeah. You know, I, I've, if you ask any of my brothers, you ask any of me, me, the people that I'm yeah, I'm not one. People hate southpaws. I don't. I'm not one like that. And, but you know that takes nothing away. Andrade, he's, you know, he's, he's class and mm -hmm. he's a world champion. Things moves them on another level. But that's a fight that you know would interest me very much. Yeah. On a domestic level, I've heard you speak about there being a short time window for maybe a potential fight with Liam Williams. Is that on your radar at this moment in time? If if it if it's on if it's on other people's radar, yeah. Like I've told you before, I'm British champion. It's my title, you know. And if the, if Liam Williams fight is what we've got to go with then the Liam Williams fight is there, do you know what I mean? I, I want to move on, I'm not waiting around for Liam Williams, do you know what I mean? But you know, if, if, if that's what page everyone's on next then, yeah, I'll beat Liam Williams and I'm confident in that. And I say, I, I, I've been here a while now, you know, I boxed out of Hot Chang nearly two years ago, won a bit of title, won a Commonwealth title in Steve O'Meara, how, how long ago was that? You know, I, I've had numerous 12 rounds Liam Williams was just getting there. And, and I know, I know in person that they're <coughs> not ready for it and, and don't want it just yet. But it's a, it's a bit of a catch-22 for them because if they pull out of the mandatory situation, then he doesn't get nominated for a year. So it's mm -hmm. a sink or swim with them a little bit, but whatever. Do you think you need the likes of Liam Williams and Jack Cowkai before you challenge for a world title? These type of fights? Not Liam Williams. No, Liam Williams on the same thing as Jack Cowkai. Liam Williams behind me. Jack Cowkai's ahead of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Jack Cowkai's European champion. Liam Williams behind me just getting to... Championship level, do you know what I mean? So, you know, I don't put them two in the same category. Jack Kulkai fight is one I'm chasing. I'm not chasing Liam Williams. And, you know, not, not even, I'm not chasing Kulkai now because he's given the title up. So, unless it was a world eliminator or anything, then, you know, Kul the Kulkai fight is probably a bit pointless at the minute. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a fight 
I, I've spoke to you before about that. I'd have loved it when he was European champion. We saw, obviously, you're a very keen supporter on raising awareness for autism. We always see that in the back of your shorts. Quite interestingly, I saw a new sponsor logo on there as well. I saw the MGM Marbella logo on your shorts. Yep. How, how's that going? Sounds great. You know, it's been good having all the lads here as well. I've had a right laugh at them in the hotel, man. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I say I'm excited. It's going to be my first fight under them. So, uh, you know, long may I continue. They're all, they're all a great lad. They seem a great team now. Good, mm -hmm. good to be a part of. And, he seems to be doing, making the right noises, you know, to getting, getting, getting the fights to get in, and he seems to have a big involvement in Derry's, Derry getting his world title fight, so, you know, if he can do the same for me, and then, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a happy man, and, you know, it's, it's great going over there, just a new, just a different climax, you know what I mean? What it's do you think far. of the infrastructure out there? Great, you know, I think we're going, we're going next week again. We went, we went halfway through this camp, and we're going next week, the day after Mother's Day, so, We'll be back over there, and I don't think you can get much more while you're over there. It's great training, and uh, your food spot on right after it, and the weather's great, so mm. it's all, all right. right. All right, well, listen, congratulations on the victory. As I said, good to see you get your 20th professional career win, and we look forward to seeing you out again soon. You're out in April 18th, hopefully. Is it 18th or 19th? Yeah, 18th. Hopefully, yeah, I'm on that, and that. say I've got no injuries, so there's no reason why you shouldn't come back to the pool, and I'm not on the bill. Mm. All right, well, listen, I'll thank you ever so much for giving me some time. And I'll see you again more soon. Thanks, Ian. Thanks for me, Ty.